holiday season is upon us, which brings sugar, sugar, and more sugar. So let's make a sweet recipe today to cure those sugar cravings in a much healthier way. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics Channel where we truly believe that your health is your greatest wealth. And it all really begins in the kitchen. Today we're going to be making maple pecan delicata squash. Begin by preheating your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And then in a small mixing bowl, we're going to add one half of a cup of roughly chopped up pecans. Over your pecans, pour one and a half tablespoons of pure maple syrup. Next, we're going to add one quarter to one half of a teaspoon of Ceylon cinnamon, just depending on your taste. Last, about one eighth a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Now, you notice I use cayenne pepper a lot in my recipes, and that's because it's so healthy for your circulation. Plus, it's going to add just a little bit of spice to our recipe. Mix together your ingredients really well. Spread onto a parchment paper lined baking sheet and place in your preheated oven for about 10 minutes, keeping an eye out just because nuts can burn really easily. While your pecans are baking, let's prepare your delicata squash. Taking your squash, you want to slice off both ends. And then we're going to slice the squash down lengthwise. There we go. And inside you'll see all these beautiful seeds. You just want to take a spoon and scrape it out. Place your squash with the flat side facing down so that it's nice and stable. And then slice into about one half of an inch half moons. Delicata squash is unique in that you can eat the skin, and when you bake it up, it becomes moist and sweet, just like sweet potato. Place your sliced half moons into a large mixing bowl. Drizzle with two tablespoons of either olive oil or avocado oil. Sprinkle with one half of a teaspoon of either pink Himalayan or sea salt. Toss together to coat evenly. Place in one layer on a parchment lined baking sheet. Increase the oven to 400 degrees once your pecans are done baking. And then bake your squash for about 20 minutes, flipping halfway. Your squash is done when it's soft and the edges are slightly caramelized. Taste test time. All right, I'm going to get a bite with a little bit of the squash and the pecan. That is incredibly satisfying. It's a little bit sweet, but not too sweet. Absolutely delicious. And you know, I always want you to make these recipes your own. So do you want to green it up a little bit? Then serve this over a big delicious salad. Do you want to turn it into a main dish? Serve it over some rice or some quinoa. Want to add in some more flavors? You could add some dried cranberries, dried cherries, or even pomegranate seeds. Absolutely incredible. This will keep the sugar cravings away and be so much better for you. Hey, give this one a try and let me know what you do, how it tastes, and how it goes for you. Thanks for joining me today. Hey, I appreciate you and I hope that you and your loved ones are well. Be sure to join me next week in the kitchen for another recipe creation. Take care, bye-bye.